Let me show you the best new features in Adobe Photoshop 2022. This new version of Photoshop contains many bug fixes and performance enhancements, but in this video, we will only focus on the latest tools available in this release. And please do me a favor, if you see a new feature that you enjoy, click on that like button and let me know which one it was in the comments. Let's start with the Object Finder, which is an upgrade to the Object Selection tool, one of my favorite tools in Photoshop. This is the image that we will work with. It contains five beautiful dogs. And from the toolbar, you can enable the Object Selection tool, which now contains the Object Finder. It's enabled by default. If it's not, you can click on this checkbox to enable it. The Object Finder will use Adobe Sensei, that is artificial intelligence, to analyze the image and find the main subjects. You can then hover over the image and Photoshop will highlight the main subjects in blue. When you click on them, Photoshop will load them as a selection. You can also hold the shift key and click on a separate object to add it to the selection. Now we have two dogs selected. If you would like to remove one of the selected items, you can hold the Alt key on Windows, that's the Option key on the Mac, and click on the object to be selected. Now we only have the dog on the far left selected. At this point, you can create a layer mask to remove the background, or you can apply an adjustment layer and make targeted adjustments with that layer mask based on the selection. Also notice that the options bar now has new settings for the object finder. You can see those here. With this gear icon, you'll see the settings for the object selection tool, the overlay color. You can also add an outline or adjust the opacity if you like. We have manual refresh and auto refresh. Auto is the default setting and Photoshop analyzes the image anytime that there's an adjustment made, but you can change it to manual so that Photoshop only analyzes the image when you click on the refresh button, which is this button here. Also, there's a brand new keyboard shortcut. You can tap on the end key to see the objects that Photoshop found during the analysis of the image. You can also click on this icon to enable or disable the overlays. Next, let's talk about a new layer selection menu. First, select your layer. Then, under the Layer menu, you will see a new menu item called Mask All Objects. When you click on that, Photoshop will create a layer group and make a mask out of all the main subjects. Keep in mind that this will only keep one layer, but now you can drop in adjustment layers and other elements to make adjustments to specific objects in your image. For example, with this image, I can create an adjustment layer and make adjustments just to the dog on the far left and you can do the same with all the other layer groups. Photoshop 2022 has updated the neural filters and even added new ones. Let's look at two new ones that I think you'll like. With this image, we're going to first look at the harmonization neural filter. And this might be a photo that you remember. I recently did a tutorial on how to use the curves adjustment layer to color match an object to its background. And that's exactly what this filter will do. First of all, I have the original layer masked here and I have the same layer without a background as you can see there. Let's first look at the jet layer without a background so that we can understand how this filter works and then I'll explain some of the intricacies of the filter. With the jet layer selected, all I'm going to do is go into the filter menu and select neural filters. From here, you can enable the harmonization option and then select a reference image. This is the background image that you want to reference. In this case, it's the sky layer. I'll click on that. Photoshop will then analyze the image and harmonize the background to the foreground. And from the right, you can use these sliders to further fine tune the color match. I can increase the strength to increase the effect. I can add a little bit of red and more yellow to get more orange on the jet. I can also decrease the saturation a bit and adjust the brightness of the jet. When you're done, make sure that you select output to a new layer and press OK. Photoshop will then create a new layer based on that adjustment. This is a fantastic new filter, but unfortunately it doesn't work with layer masks. Let me show you how you can work around that. I'm going to delete this layer and just work with this layer that has the original background behind it. With this layer selected, I'm going to go into the filter menu and go into neural filters. I'll do the same thing. I'll select harmonization and I'll select the same background, the sky background. But notice that this time Photoshop doesn't do that good of a job. At the moment, this filter will not recognize the layer mask. So it's actually best to work destructively. So what you will need to do in this case is press Control J on Windows, Command J on the Mac to duplicate that layer. 
And on the layer mask, right click and select apply layer mask. That way you have a jet without a background. And this is the layer that you will use to apply the filter to match it to the background. Next, let's look at the landscape mixer. With this layer selected, I'm going to go into the filter menu and select Neuro Filters. From here, enable the landscape mixer. This filter allows you to apply a different look to your landscapes. We have a list of presets here. For example, we can use this preset, which will create a winter effect on your image. And you can use the sliders to fine tune the effect. I'll select one more just so you can see the result. I'll select this preset on the top right. Also, keep in mind that you can sample from your own images by clicking on the custom button and uploading your own landscapes. Next, let me show you a fantastic new feature for collaborating in Adobe Photoshop 2022. This is the document that I'm going to work with. It's a simple effect that I've applied to an image. This is actually one of my Photoshop in-app tutorials. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. But if I wanted to share this document with people that we're collaborating with in this project, I could do so through Photoshop and have them comment right back and I will be able to see the comments inside the application. So that you can see the comments, you can go into the window menu and select comments. From here, you will need to convert your Photoshop document into a Photoshop cloud document. All you need to do is just click on the continue button and the save to the creative cloud window will come up and you can just save your document here. You can give it whatever name that you like and click on save. Once the saving process is completed, you can share your document so that you can get feedback and comments from other people. All you need to do is click on the share button and make sure that under change, you have comment enabled. Then you can copy the link and share it with anyone that you like. These people will be able to leave any comment that you want on your document. And of course, all the comments will appear in the comments tab. This functionality has been available in the past, but only via the Creative Cloud Assets website. And it is now an in-app feature inside of Photoshop 2022. This next new feature in Adobe Photoshop 2022 allows you to bring in your vector art from Adobe Illustrator and maintain layer structure, layer names, and so much more. Let me show you how it works. Here we are in Adobe Photoshop with a black canvas and I'm going to open up Adobe Illustrator and I have an Adobe Make It logo, which is a conference I did a few years ago in Sydney for Adobe. And in the layers menu, you will see that I have a logo group and inside of that group, I have groups for each corresponding letter. And inside of those groups, I have each individual shape with a name for each individual object. In this case, M green, M yellow, so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is simply highlight this and press Control C on Windows. That's Command C on the Mac to copy. And I'm going to go back into Photoshop and paste by pressing Control V on Windows. That's Command V on the Mac. In this paste dialog, we have a new option called layers. You can see that if I click on this info icon, a window will pop up. It will tell me that this option will preserve illustrator attributes such as layer structure and relative positioning. When I press OK, Photoshop will paste that logo as layers in Photoshop and notice that Photoshop made a layer group called logo. And inside of that group, I have each letter as its own individual group, just like an illustrator. And inside of that group, I have vector shapes with the corresponding layer names for each shape in that group. This is a fantastic new feature in Photoshop 2022 that I'm sure designers will love. And this is not really a new feature in this release, but I wanted to mention it since it is only a few months old and I think you will find it beneficial. Click on this icon to open up the Discover panel. From here, you will see the hands-on tutorials. These are tutorials that you can follow directly from Photoshop with on-screen overlays. And I actually have over 10 tutorials in here. If you scroll down to the add photo effects section, you will find most of my tutorials. In fact, the first nine are all mine. You can see them here, including the add a colorful dual lighting effect to a portrait tutorial that I was just talking about in the previous example. And from here, you can see my name is Jesus Ramirez and you can click if you want to head over to my website and also read my bio. But the point is that you can click on the blue start tutorial button and Photoshop will open up that image and you can follow along the tutorial with on-screen overlays. To check out my videos on these in-app tutorials, make sure that you click here or check out the link in the description. My name is Jesus Ramirez. Thank you so much for watching.